Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we will be talking about how you can set up DXVK in Linux. So if you don't know what DXVK is, basically it's DirectX to Vulkan. So it's a impressive piece of technology that can directly convert DirectX Microsoft calls, like uh, the DirectX graphics technology from games and other things that rely on that into Vulkan, which is an open source API for graphics for Linux and other systems. And this has allowed lots and lots of games to work very well. And uh, Valve's actually implementing it in Steam Play. And you can go to protondb.com and you can find dozens and dozens of games at work. And uh, if you didn't know though, you can use DXVK outside of Steam. And in this video, I'll show you a little bit how to install it. So to start off, as you can see in my article here, and I, normally I don't show my article because the demonstration is quite uh, easy to understand on its own. But in this case, I need to show you, you need to get wine staging set up. And wine staging, uh, you need to have at least version 4.0 on wine. And as you can see on Fedora here, excuse me, I have wine version 4.2. But if you don't have the latest wine, at least version 4.0, none of this is going to work. But once you get that done, you can launch a terminal. And uh, you know, the uh, Ubuntu instructions... If you're an Ubuntu user or a Debian user, it's quite easy. On Fedora, I'm going to have to do the DNF install. Uh, so the package installation isn't that important to this guide um, and instructions for every Linux distribution, you know, instructions for every Linux distribution, including Arch Linux, Debian, Ubuntu, OpenSUSE, it's all there. And, uh, but you gotta install the XVK package. And then after that, the real stuff happens. And the real stuff is we need to configure DXVK. So for Ubuntu and Debian, you need to go to this folder and run the setup install script for Fedora and uh, OpenSUSE, we will cover it this way. So I need to go here, run this ls, and then I need to do wine tricks, set up DXVK verb. It's gonna set up my wine, uh, my default wine prefix and it's going to install and do all this stuff. And uh, Arch Linux, if you're an Arch Linux user, this will do it automatically. But uh, we have DXVK set up. And then after that, we can go and look at the games. So there's a lot of different games that work on DXVK. And uh, you can find which games work by just going to winehq.org. You can follow the installation instructions. Or if you're interested, you can check out Gaming on Linux DXVK compatibility list. Now, Gaming on Linux is a website that specifically focuses on video games for Linux. And if we look through, if you have a certain game that you want to run with DXVK, you can check this database, and I have it linked in the article, and you can figure out which ones, you know, does it work with DXVK, and uh, what are the problems, and how to get it, and what to do. And uh, I highly recommend it. You can also check out ProtonDB or just do testing on your own. But uh, you can check if DXVK is working by going to wine CFG. You know, you run that and uh, go to libraries. Now you see all these overrides. This means that DXVK is open and ready to go. And that's how that works. Hope this made sense. Um, if you're new to Linux and gaming, you might be a little confused. But this is how it is working. It is how you get it to run. And uh, I've got installation instructions for every Linux distribution. Uh, so please check that out in the Linux. And please check that out, excuse me, in the video description below. And I will see you in the next video.